Hey guys, welcome back to Cal Disaster. As the last video you guys saw, we were bedlining the front bumper, the back bumper, and a couple other plastics. And this block, well, this block is a level kit. It's two and a half inch, and we're gonna be installing on this truck for the front. We did the back already. It's gonna have from stock to six inch lift height, and from the stock you can lower down three inches lower which is pretty cool if you use it for work you can just lower down the back but the front which is going to have a two and a half inch uh, level kit that will bring our truck a little bit higher and we'll have our wide wheels to turn much easier as you guys remember from the last video we were painting the bumpers as well today we're going to be putting from the old bumper which is right here let me show you guys this old bumper we're going to be stripping down all those plastics uh, we're going to install this plastic on the bumper as well and uh, yeah just do a bunch of stuff i don't know about that junk i would of course use those sensors that are on the bumper but that bumper is gone i don't think i need it and the tailgate as well i'm probably gonna get rid of it maybe i'll try to sell some stuff like a little parts maybe somebody will need it today the whole point is to take off the, these wheels put the spacers put the shocks and put the brand new wheels that we have in the garage but yeah enough talking let's get straight into it So this is the second wheel. I don't want to bore, bore you guys out putting the tires. So let's do this. And this is after we just put the wheels on. Come check it out. Come over here. These are 33s by 12 and a half and uh, rim 20 inch, 12 wide. I really like this set actually. Some of you guys are gonna say these wheels are too small for this truck, but I feel like it's gonna be perfect because I wanna use it for daily drive. I wanna use it for work. I think 33s are perfect. They're wide, they give you this angle, the aggressive look. And it's sticking out about two inches. If you can see, it's, it's, it's about two inches, two and a half maybe even. It's pretty nice. So right now we're gonna be working on these two bumpers. Uh, so this is our this is the brand new bumper that I we already painted from the last video. So today uh, I just opened this new lip that is gonna go right here because that lip is cracked right here. So I'm gonna be replacing with a new lip. We're gonna be using this bracket right here, but not this one because this one is bent. And I just picked it up from the dealership. Good thing they had it in stock. And as well, they have this brand new hook because look, this hook is bent a little bit scratched and this bracket right here is bent so once we put the new hook it's gonna look really nice. nice well let's go let's put these hooks on the brackets the fog lights on this new bumper and put it on the truck and see how it looks so let's go
So guys, we just put all the fog lights, all the plastic trims, the lip. It turned out really nice. And now it's the now's the time to change the hook and mount a bumper on and see how it looks. So catch you guys there. Sorry guys, I'm gonna apologize. I know I told you guys that I'm gonna be installing a bunch of more stuff, but currently we did the bumper today and uh, we put the wheels and the front level kit, but we did not have a chance to install the exhaust like I told you. I expected that the guy is gonna send me all the parts for the rear wheel drive that we were missing some brackets and they have not sent it to me. I have not received it yet. So that's gonna take to the next video. I received a tuner and I'll show you guys right now. I got the Easy Link tuner. Uh, this is all the stuff that I need to hook it up. This is pretty much like a switch. Uh, you can do one through five. You add like 200 horsepower on top of, you know, stock. And this is the box that I came with. I'll explain you guys everything in the next video. But yeah, I'm excited to show you guys in the next video. Uh, but yeah, it will be it for today. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Peace out.